here's an additional resource, and that is what's called relationship maps, account relationship maps. If I go to click, if I, I've showed you Relationship Explorer, but down below that is Relationship Map. This is a, a list and a graphical way of looking at the leads that are at an account that are relevant to a specific project you're doing. Let's say you're trying to sell a new CRM system to click or a new ERP system or a new payroll system. You might create a relationship map specific to that campaign or specific to that project of trying to get to, uh, to the right people at click regarding what you have to offer. Now, I've played with this a little bit already, so these are all my saved leads that I have here. There's also a bunch of uh, recommended leads, and the more saved leads you have, and as, you, as this list changes and, and it gets added to the map, the more recommended leads you'll get as well. So let's Let's just build a map real quick and take a look at what happens. Then I'll show you, once I start building this map, I'll show you a little bit more about what you have to play with here. So I know for a fact that the senior director, based on this scenario that I'm making up in my mind, the senior director of enterprise sales, that's that's who I want to get, he's the person that needs to, is going to buy this. So bring him over here, and then I can change the role, and I can make the role the decision maker. This is the guy who's going to make the decision. Now, I can also bring in other people here. I can bring in, if I want to, the regional manager. Now, watch when I bring him in. I can put it before Martin. I can put it below Martin, which would indicate Martin is his manager. Or above Martin, see the plus sign, which would indicate that Chris is Martin's manager. Or I can put it to the right here, which would indicate that Chris is one of the stakeholders, but he's but he's not the primary stakeholder if he's to the right of Martin. And he, again, he's not a manager or, the, or Martin's not his manager. So I drop him there. Now, I can grab someone else. Let's say that the senior customer, if I click on Nick, Nick is a senior customer success manager. Close that down. That's what I thought. I want to grab him, and I'm going to put him under Martin because Martin is his manager. Put that there. And then the, the VP of integrated marketing is Riley. So I bring Riley over here, and I put Riley up above Chris because he is Chris's manager. Excuse me. She is Chris's manager. So decision maker is Martin. Look at the options I have here for role, champion, evaluator, procurement, influencer. I'm gonna, she's a, a champion, she said she wants it. Chris right here is also a champion, he wants it. And Nick is an uh, influencer, because he's telling Martin that we need that tool. Do you see how I'm building this map here? But I could also go over here and go, oh my God, I forgot about Julianne. Bring Julianne over here, and Julianne's an influencer because she has said that she wants that. And by the way, under the three dots, I have I can add a manager, I can replace the lead. Oh, let's let's say by for an example, let's say that Julianne left. Let's replace that lead and replace her with find somebody I want to replace her with. Let's replace her with oh yeah, it's Kent. So I've taken Julianne off of the map and I put Kent there, and Kent is the new bit one of the new big influencers. So this is how you map this together. And you'll notice that the more uh, leads you put in here, put this over here, notice that they go off screen. Now I can make this a little smaller so I can see it. Eh, it's okay, but I can also, if I want to, leave it big and I can scroll to the right and scroll to the left to see it. And furthermore, I can hit the expand button here and make it even bigger. I still have it off the screen a little bit. Bring that back down. So that's the map. Let's go see what the list looks like. In the list, you can see that Martin is up top because he's the decision maker. Also on the, on the relationship list, you'll see that, that the, each of these leads are only in one relationship map because I only have one right now. You can see under highlights that I can, you know, use these highlights as an opportunity to engage. Martin has a post. Nick has a post, Riley has a new job, Chris has a post, Kent has a post. I love it. All of them have some kind of content that you could go engage on so that you can nurture the relationship. And this is important 
Yeah, look, we'll talk about it in a moment. Here's the managers. I can see right here that I've made this person. This is Martin is the manager of Nick. And I've made Riley the manager of Chris. And then I've assigned the decision, the roles of decision maker, influencer, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, Ma Malin doesn't have a role. Malin's an influencer. I know that. So let's make Malin an influencer. Now, the next thing that I mentioned earlier about the highlights, but here's relationship strength. Under relationship strength, we can determine, we can label what relationship we have with each of these stakeholders in this map. With, with Martin, if he's a decision maker, ideally I want to get to a strong relationship, but it's kind of weak right now. Nick, I have a, we have a good relationship with, and maybe medium. Riley is a champion. We've known Riley for years. Chris, we've known Chris for years, a strong relationship. Kent, we don't have a relationship with yet. And Malin, we don't have a relationship with yet, so new, no relationship. The option for clear is for to take out the relationship statement, so it's blank, and I can go put that back if I want to. So it's important to be able to have that information. Does that show up in the map? It doesn't really show up in the map. It would be great if it would show up right there, but it doesn't. So let's go back to list. The last two columns in the list view are assigned to and notes. Assigned to, if you're using Sales Navigator Advanced, Sales Navigator Advanced Plus, then you can assign this to another colleague in the uh, in the team or in the account. If you're not, if you're using Sales Navigator Core, you can't use that. And notes, not only do notes show up in the list view, but they also show up on the on the leads profile. If I open that up in another tab and I look at her profile, you'll see that right there is that note that I added for her. Go back to my list. Now that I've built my list all out here, I can view it all here. And again, can add to it. I can add more stakeholders. I can add more champions, influencers, et cetera, et cetera, so that I can look at this and see who is a part of this project at, at Click? Who do I need to nurture my relationship with? Who do I need to get into conversation with? Who can I get to help me move this project forward? All visualized in a relationship map. And I'll drop the link to the Sales Navigator help document, which is pretty helpful for you to understand this as well. The best way to understand this is to experiment with it, play with it, and figure out how it can help you in your use of Sales Navigator.